again and I'm going to be showing you a 1 to 99 thieving guide. Now quite, I have quite a lot of people asking me um, how I achieve my 99 thieving and just general questions about throughout each level as well. So I thought you know what I'm just going to do a video and so anyone who asks me I can just direct them to the video and it saves me a hell of a lot of time. So yeah this video may not be the best methods or the fastest it's just how I achieve my uh, levels 1 to 99 in the simplest possible way. I don't like videos that get into all every little single detail. I like just to know how you, how they did it, what like, you know, how they achieved everything that they did throughout each level and so on. So yeah. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to talk about is your equipment. Now, while doing thieving, you want to wear some gloves of silence, uh, a ring of wealth, and basically if you've done any of the Ardune capes, then use the best one you can. Um, however, I've got my thieving cape on, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then just I just added a few things for a little bit of a look. That's all. Okay, so to start your levels from levels one to ninety-nine, you're going to start from one to ten. Now, to do this, you want to home teleport to Lumbridge and run up just to where the general store is. And up here, you will see men and women. There's the woman there. Now, you just want to right-click and go pickpocket. And you will gain 8 XP and 20 coins. Now, while doing this, you are going to have to do it 145 times, which on average non stop should take you about 20 minutes. Now, if you keep right clicking and accidentally pressing attack, then wield a short bow with no arrows. This will stop you from attacking them. Now, from levels 10 to 25, you want to do farmers. To get here, you just want to home teleport to Lumbridge and run up past the cow farms and the chicken farms and come through this little brick path here and head around the back of here and pickpocket. As I said, you want to do this from levels 10 to 25. Each one will give you uh, some random seeds um, as well as 20 coins. And you will also gain a total of 14 XP per one. Uh, well, 14.5. Now you want to do farmers 478 times, which on average should take you 35 minutes. Okay, so from levels 25 to 38, you're going to want to do warrior women. To get here, you just want to home teleport to Ardun and run down to where the general store is um, or the estate agents. Now once you're here, you just want to again right click and go pickpocket. You can also use the method of the short bow with no arrows, which will stop you from attacking them. Now, warrior women give you a rough amount of coins per pickpocket. There is no way of predicting how much. And also give you 26 XP per one. Now, you want to do warrior women 868 times, um, which take you one hour and 30 minutes, which will get you to level 38. Now, from levels 38 to 55, you want to do master farmer. You can do this in Draenor. However, I recommend doing it in Ardune because it is only a left click instead of a right click and then click pickpocket. You can just left click like this, which will allow you to get more XP per hour, depending on how quick you can obviously right click and everything. But if you can just sit there and do this, then you are going to get more XP per hour. Now you want to do Master Farmer 3169 times, um, which would take you about four hours. Um, yes, that may seem long, but you're working on a 99, and I, I consider Thieving a very good 99. So from levels 55 to 64, you're going to want to do Knights of Ardune. Now you just want to right click and go pickpocket again. And also this does work with the tactic of the short bow with no arrows. Now there is another tactic with these where if these catch you while you're trying to pickpocket them, they sit there and attack you. So they will try and kill you. Now the tactic for this is I'll show you by attacking him. I'll get him to chase me. And you want to lure him don't run off too far just don't want him getting stuck behind anything there you go bring him out here through here and you want to get him in this room here get him in here shut the door behind him now head up the stairs and now back down and he will stop attacking you. Now, 
if this door opens, he will walk his way back out. So just carry on. Oh, I accidentally attacked him. <laughs> See, if I was wearing the short bow, no arrows, that wouldn't have happened. But again, you just go upstairs and he will stop. Just carry on pickpocketing. Then if you do get caught, just do the tactic again and go back upstairs. Now, you want to do Knights of Ardoom 2852 times, uh, which is 3 hours, and that will finish you off at level 64. Okay, so now that you're level 64, you want to head into the Thieving Guild. Now, the Thieving Guild requires Buyers and Sellers quest and 3 mini quests to enter. However, I'm not going to do a guide on them, they are fairly simple. Just head to another YouTube video, I'm sure someone's put one out there. I'm sorry, I just don't really want to do one. Um, I'm not going to be doing any quest guides or anything. Um, they are fairly easy though, and I do wish you luck with them. So once you're down here, you want to bring down a rubber blackjack. Or you can just buy one from the general store in there. Um, they're only one coin. Now once you're down here, you're going to want to go to these guys here. And you're going to want to go right click and go lower. And you'll say something stupid. And then go knockout. And as soon as you click knockout, start looting. You can get free loots from him if you do it good enough. And you also get some hanky points as well. Now the average XP per hour is 100 to 150k. So it's going to take you... A, a, if, you if you're averaging it between that kind of ratio then you will be looking at 15 hours um, from level 64 to 81 however some people go to 99 which is a good idea at the same time as not but anyway once you've done that for a fair few time you can start collecting these hanky points now the hanky points vary to how much you can get to what your thieving level is now because I've got 99 um, I can achieve the max amount of hanky points but for example at the moment I've currently collected 16 so you can only do this once a week, but you just right click, uh, say that you want to claim your reward, and he will just gave me 1,920 for just 16. Now, what I tended to do was do the lowering and knocking out, but then while while all these gates are shut, I go through each one of these gates, opening each chest, um, as they do take a time to shut afterwards. So while you're waiting for them to shut, go ahead and do that. It's just a quick bit of bonus experience and you also get your hanky points from it as well so as I said you can either do that from 64 to 81 or do it all the way to 99 okay so if you did decide to do the thieving guild from 64 to 81 and then carry on to the next step then the next step is pyramid plunder now this isn't going to be a full in-depth guide to pyramid plunder however that'll be a separate video uh, depending on when you're watching this it's either coming soon or it's already out. If it is, just head over to that um, or I'll put an annotation on the screen for you. Um, but basically, when you're doing Pyramid Plunder, you want to take food, some anti poisons, and you also want a Pharaoh's Scepter. I'm also going to take a Bunyip with me, uh, but if you don't have a summoning level for that, don't worry. Just, yeah, just go ahead and do it anyway. It doesn't really matter, it just helps. Once you've got your Pharaoh's Scepter, right click and teleport to. Jalzavra, um, or however you pronounce it, I don't care. And down here you'll see the Guardian Mummy. Just right click and go start mini game, and he will take you to the first room. Now, once you're in here, you basically just want to run through this. Now, I recommend doing this from levels 81 to 99, um, purely because it makes sure you can get the best XP per hour. And once you're in here, all you want to do to start with is run through, open the first door, and carry on. So as I said, do this from levels 81 to 99, and the process should be a little bit more fun. However, I went for a few levels, and then might have got a bit bored of this, so I go ahead and do some uh, Thieving Guild again, and then I'd go back and just kind of take it in turns per one. If you go in a world of a fair few people in it, there is more of a chance that you're going to get the room, the door first of first choice, basically, because you'll see a few other people going through it, and you know that's the same door for you as well. Okay, so if you did do either the Thieving Guild or Pyramid Plunder to 99, then congratulations on achieving your levels 1 to 99. Now, we're going to go get the cape now. So what you want to do is you want to home teleport to Burfo, and you just want to follow the route that I'm taking. <laughs> Okay, 
so once you're down here this is basically Rogue's Den and down here there is a guy called Martin Thwaite and you want to go and bank and you want to take out 100k and trade with Martin and you'll see the thieving cape there. If it doesn't say the little T in brackets, that's only because you don't have another 99. If you do, then it will say the trimmed, as I'm sure you know. So there, congratulations. Um, you can now wield your cape. Obviously, I've already got one on, but yeah. And now I'm going to show you the emote. So we're gonna, first of all, we're going to show you from the front. There you go. And then finally from the back. And there you go. I hope this guide helped you. And I really do hope you achieve your 99th even if you are going for it. As it is going to be a long process. But if you stick at it, I'm sure you'll achieve it eventually it is a long process but as I said just stick at it now this is one of my first few videos so I do appreciate all the feedback I get whether it's negative or positive just please leave a comment message me uh, like thumbs up thumbs down anything um, subscribe anything I'll appreciate the whole lot but yeah keep an eye out for my next video um, it's either going to be a pyramid plunder guide or just something else depending on what I can be bothered to do. And yeah, as I said, I hope this guide helps you. Thank you very much.